back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at emulsions. First of all we'll look at their definition of why they're needed, then we'll look at their structure and synthesis, and finally their use. Emulsions are a mixture of oil droplets suspended in water, or water droplets suspended in oil. To prevent emulsions from separating, emulsifiers are added. These are compounds that prevent the water and the oil from forming layers as they normally would. Examples of emulsions are mayonnaise and milk. Here's the structure of some emulsifiers. They have a structure similar to both fats and oils and soaps. We have a glycerol molecule here, you can see on both of them, and we have either one or two fatty acid chains added onto them. Emulsifiers are made by taking fats and oils and reacting them with glycerol. When using emulsifiers, they have a similar mode of action to soaps. The OH group here and here within the glycerol part of the molecule is similar to the polar part of a soap. Whereas this part here, the fatty acid, is similar to that of the non-polar part of a soap. When they are used to prevent separation of oil from water, the polar parts of the glycerol remain in the water. Whereas the non-polar parts from the fatty acids can be dissolved into the oil. This creates small droplets that do not stick together and therefore allows them to stay in solution. If you're trying to keep water in oil, then the situation is reversed, where the polar parts will remain inside the droplets of water, and the non-polar parts, the fatty acid chains, will stick out into the oil. Again, creating droplets that will not stick together and therefore you will not form layers and you won't get separation. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please remember to subscribe or follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Kim for regular updates on new videos. Bye for now.